The beef with Matt may be over with, but you and I, we got unfinished business. Oh, is that a pie? You're sorry? And you made me a pie? Oh man, this looks really good. I didn't know you could cook. Mmm. <laughs> oh man, that's, that's pretty good. Kind of has a wang to it. Something I'm not really used to. I'm not really sure what it is. for this. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today I have a very special 500 Magnum to show you. Some of you have probably already seen it, but I'm really excited to show it to you today and have some fun with it. Let's go check it out. So this is the 500 Magnum that I have for today's video. A lot of you have probably already seen this. So this is a BFR, which stands for Biggest Finest Revolver. They're owned by Car Firearms. And this is a 20 inch barrel, 500 Magnum that they made custom for me when I went down to Texas and filmed with Matt at Demolition Ranch. So we had a lot of fun with this, but this has a 20 inch barrel. It's double the length of what it would normally be. And I'm like, we should really reach out and touch something with this thing. So I've stuck a Burris handgun scope on this. This is a two to seven by 32 uh, handgun scope. I sighted it in the other day and I'm super excited to try this thing out at some distance. I'm really curious to see what we can push it to. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to at least 200 yards and judging from that, we may go back a little bit further, but here's one more quick look at it. It's just so ridiculous. Now let's go get set up and get started. So we're gonna start out at 50 yards and that's what I sighted this in at the other day, but I was using a table and a rest. I haven't shot this thing offhand standing at 50 yards. So I'm gonna aim for the blue shoot steel target and I'm gonna be using some Underwood ammo, 350 grain jacket at hollow points. But before we get started, I wanna say thank you to Acre Gold for sponsoring today's video. Don't ask. I got this thing on two power. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. I'm hitting a little to the left. Ooh, missed. This thing's a little wobbly, especially looking through that scope. There we go. Let's see if we can hit number three. There we go. So I missed one, but it's kind of weird shooting that thing offhand with a scope like that because it looks like you're moving a whole lot. And honestly, I probably am because this barrel is so long. Uh, but as we scoop back, we're definitely gonna be using a rest when we shoot this thing because I don't know how good I'm gonna be at 100 or 200 yards standing. <laughs> think for one second that I'm gonna walk back and forth at 100 yards and 200 yards you are wrong <laughs> so we are set up at 100 yards and uh, I have a cinder block downrange and a five gallon water jug let's see if we can hit those I'm honestly a little surprised that I hit it. Uh, now for the cinder block. We nailed it. <laughs> That's awesome. So 
So I forgot to show you on camera, but I took one shot at 100 yards at the steel target. I was aiming right here, and we hit kind of high and to the left. So I was aiming low and to the right. And uh, I don't know if that was just inconsistencies uh, with the ammo, or if it was me, or what it was. But uh, I was aiming low with this guy, and we hit low. Uh, let's see here. I think I hit, like, right there. And blew the bottom out of it. And then with the cinder block, uh, I think it was like this. I think we hit low with this guy too. Yeah, it looks like we hit right there. So it looks like that first shot where I was high and to the left was probably just me because I was aiming low and to the right to compensate for that. And that's where I hit on the cinder block and the water jug. So I guess the scope is fine, but that first shot was just me. Oh no, no, this table broke, darn it. I can fix it, I just, yeah, it just needs longer screws in there. All right, move that out of the way. And we'll put this guy about right here. Well, according to my rangefinder, we are 200 yards back. Uh, let's see if we can hit that steel. Let's see here. Probably going to have to increase this magnification as far as it'll go. And yeah, still hard to see, but we're going to take a whack at it. So I'm guessing at 200 yards, my rounds are probably going to be dropping a little bit, so I'm going to aim high. Let's see if we can even get one hit. I uh, don't know. I don't think we hit it. <laughs> so let's adjust and see where we hit that time. I aimed high and to the left. So let me just aim high this time. Hey! We got it. Let's see, I aimed high and in the middle, but I'm not, I can't really see where I hit. Let's take another shot. We got, I guess, three rounds to go. I can't tell if we hit that or not. We hit at that time and let's see if we can end on a good note and hit it one more time and we hit it <laughs> that is pretty cool 200 yards with a 500 magnum that's that's pretty wild Okay, so looks like we missed two shots and we had three shots on the steel. Oh, looks like we hit, hit our two by four. That's where those other two shots went. I've been meaning to shoot this thing for a long time. And I think today is gonna be the day. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can shoot this toilet back at 200 yards. All right, let's see if we can hit this toilet with this 500 Magnum at 200 yards. I feel pretty good after the last five shots, kind of have an idea of what this is gonna be like here at 200 yards. So I'm only gonna put one round in this gun because I have faith. I think we can hit it on our first shot. If not, it's gonna be embarrassing and feel free to make fun of me in the comment section down below. <laughs> okay, we are ready. We did. 
We hit it! That is awesome! Oh, I'm so happy we got that on the first shot. <laughs> Let's go check that out. Got the bottom portion. I can use that for another video. I was hoping I could find pieces of the round, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. That broke up pretty good. I'm pretty happy that we hit uh, whatever this is called back here, like the water reserve. That way we still have this part of the toilet for another video. <laughs> So I want to try one last thing. I should probably quit while I'm ahead. You know, we've made some shots at 200 yards. That's awesome. But I want to see how far we can push this thing. So according to my little range finder here, I am setting at 302 yards. I don't expect to make this shot, but I want to try it. We're going to see if we can hit this steel target with a 500 Magnum from 302 yards. Okay, and you're going to notice that the steel target is setting on the ground now. And that's because I'm so far back that I had to move the steel target away from my berm. There's a thousand yards of woods behind my berm with no houses, but I still feel a lot safer shooting into a berm. So because I had to move it away from the berm, I want it on the ground. That way, when we miss, uh, that round is just going to plow into the dirt really fast because... 300 yards, the 500 Magnum, that's a heavy round, it's dropping fast. I have no idea where that hit. We hit it i'm pretty sure we got a hit just then <laughs> i'm gonna run down there real quick and check the camera because i think i heard a ding so here you go these were here before. Those are the shots we took at 200 yards. That was my first shot that I took at 100 yards. And this is the shot we just made at 300 yards with a 500 Magnum. I can't believe we did that. Okay, so I took three shots. Uh, the first shot I aimed about a foot high. Didn't know where I hit. I don't have anyone spotting with me. Uh, the second shot I aimed at the very top of the target didn't see anything. Third shot, I aimed just a little above the top of the target and I aimed slightly to the left and we hit dead center on that target. That is awesome. All right, Ken Folk, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. What did you think about my 20 inch barrel 500 Magnum and what else would you like to see me do with it? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you check out Kentucky Ballistics clothing and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.